So how do we create this type of text animation? First thing you're going to need is a text plus node. Here you're going to modify and add your text. After you have your text set up, select your text layer, go into Fusion right here, and you can continue to adjust these right here. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a rectangle mask, and we're going to connect this to our template. We're going to position these right here, and we're going to create a position key from right here on the center. Now we're going to go to the frame 24, and we're going to bring these out. Here you can actually select everything on your spline, select everything with Ctrl A, press F and then press T so you can adjust the ease in and out options. So that it looks like that. Now we're actually going to invert these to reveal our text with that mask. Okay, now we're set on that end. We're going to disconnect these holding shift for now and I'm going to select the template and I'm going to add a displace node. To open this menu, press Ctrl and Spacebar. Now we're going to displace our text with a fast noise node. So we're going to select these by pressing number two so we can see this on screen and adjust the contrast right here. And also we're going to go to the color and set the alpha to one in this black color right here. You can adjust a couple of more things if you want, like the detail. So it's a little bit sharper and you can adjust the scale and that looks pretty good. We're going to connect these to our displace node and we're going to bring our viewer to the media out again. Now we can see our text is being affected by the displace effect. Here we're going to go from radial to XY. That way we can adjust the refraction on the horizontal side and on the vertical side right here. Now in this case, it worked best to not adjust the vertical too much because in the end, after the reveal was happening, it was a little bit weird and distorted. But that only applies if you want to leave the effect active on your text like you can see in the example right here. After you're happy with the displacement, go to the rectangle mask that we have here Make sure to invert these and then we're going to create a copy and connect it to the displace node. On this copy, we're going to invert this back or basically bring it back to normal. That way we can see a little bit of the effect active while the text is appearing. Now there's a little bug that happens here when you're using this mask right here. And the thing is that you, we can see the mask right here that's affecting the displace effect. And what you would normally think about is going and adjusting the soft edge option. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't help because it seems to amplify the difference here and we can see it even more now. What I found here is that if you go to the rectangle of the mask that affects the displacement, go to the spline section and adjust that first keyframe so that the ease out is a little bit different than the first mask, then that seems to fix it. So what you want to do is increase the ease out option so it's a little bit delayed and play around until it looks like there's not that big of a difference. Let's see. And then we can basically see it or not see that mask anymore. But this is really a matter of tweaking the mask and then seeing what you like best. And as I mentioned earlier, that if you want, you can leave the mask active or the effect active by just dragging the mask a little bit. You just have to make sure that you're leaving it mainly like affecting the whole text. That way it doesn't look that weird as if it were like right here, for example, that it only affects that little section right there, right? But it's a matter of personal preference. So that is pretty much how this effect works. Now for this interesting background, what I did, I just created another fusion composition and I added a gradient background. And then I added another background that I use as a foreground basically and it was colored white, completely white and then I changed the apply mode to soft white and use a little bit of a soft blur that way we have that little bit sort of like a spotlight effect on our text right here but that's just an addition that I did and the last thing that I added to this effect which is optional is a little bit of a zoom out effect with this adjustment layer what I did here is I use the zoom controls right here Although if you went into Fusion, you would be able to control this a little bit better, most likely. But what I did was that and then use the curve settings right here in the edit page, right in the transform section. Although I don't really like these exact curves. Now, if you want to learn how to stylize your text in a similar fashion to this one, make sure to come back to the channel sometime soon because I will be uploading a video showing you how to stylize your text in this manner. That's it for this video. See you next time. Here in Swati. Bye.